Welcome to the Glass Bowl in Toledo, Ohio, home to the Toledo Rockets. A full house is in store, and so too, a terrific matchup in this one. There's nothing quite like a great rivalry matchup in college football. The bitterness, the intensity, the lifetime of memories that will come as a result of what we're about to see in this one. As we'll see, the winners of three straight, the Bowling Green Falcons. Squaring off with another team from the map, the Toledo Rockets. 48 Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get the... The Falcons will put total weather to crank us up. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. So the Toledo Rockets offense will get the first crack at it here. And the adrenaline is pumping on overdrive in games like this, guys, and it's crucial to get your emotions under control. No doubt. In rivalry games, you've got to limit the mental errors, and you've got to limit the penalties, because those will kill you, Bob. And you've got to come out under control. It means so much. We know that the fans are all talking about it, but it's just football. Caught in the backfield, it's Torres. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. And here comes the offense on second down. Leaves it with the running back. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. The line to gain here is the 43-yard line, and it's third down. And they're able to get a third down stop here. See if they go for it on fourth. The Rockets will line up to punt it away. First punt of the day, and he'd love to lock them up close to their goal line. And the return man will have no chance as the ball sails out of bounds. Personal foul. Personal foul. Roughing the Ruffing kicker. The kicker. Defense. Defense. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. So the offense keeps his drive alive thanks to the roughing the punter penalty. Hides a crease at the 20. And he's loose, and he'll take it to the house. Touchdown, Rockets! They can use this first score to sort of set the tone, guys, in this rivalry matchup. Man, doesn't this feel good to come out, score early, get the crowd involved, get the nerves out of the way, Palmer, when you're playing in a big rivalry game? Yeah, and I feel like momentum is always a big thing in any game, but in rivalry games, it's that much more important because everybody is going to feed off that first score. Lining up to add another. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. A very efficient five-way scoring drive. And he finished things off with a 32-yard run to the house. He'll bring it out. It's Johnson. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. The Falcons' offense will get the ball for the first time. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team, and generally games go how these guys play. If they make plays, they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt, they got to show up. Th these are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win the football game. Wants to throw. It's Bazelak. It's complete to the right. And they wrap him up, but not before he's got enough for the first down. A new set of downs after the completion. They'll give it to the back. Found that space and picked up six out to the 33. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. Looking for space. It's Stewart. And he won't quite get there, but boy, after that pickup, just a few inches to go for the first, an array of possibilities here. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. Solid work and execution there. They'll have a first down as they mark it at the 40. The Falcons look to keep this drive humming. Now they're going to throw it. The short hands, it's Blackburn. 
He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throwing catch. Give to the running back. A most efficient pickup of six on first down. It's second and four. Brings up second down. The receiver on the jet sweep. And they'll bring him to the ground after a short game. They've controlled the football on this drive. The eighth play will be a third and three. They'll try to get it through the air. And the ball comes out. What a disastrous play. It's as if that ball had a magnet going back to the offense. How in the world did they keep it? A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. The Rockets offense is back on the field. There wasn't much need to throw it around on that last drive for the touchdown, Jesse. They got it done running the ball. And David, I don't think you have to overthink this thing. If they can't stop you running it, why would you stop handing it off? Just keep at it here on this drive. Well, and if I'm the defense, I'm making some changes. I'm bringing in more big bodies. I'm playing more aggressive towards the line of scrimmage. I am not going to let them have that kind of drive again. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. And you got to focus, right? The first thing you're looking at as a defensive lineman, the first thing you understand is the ball starts with a snap count. I, I have to line up, see the ball. When the ball moves, I move. I know it's simple, but you still see guys jumping all sides all the time. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. And they'll pick up the first down and mark it at the 47. And the Rockets come to the line with a fresh set of downs. On the move, it's Stewart. Last time these two got together, it was a tight one, Jesse. It seems like every time these two teams play, the game just feels faster, right? Because it is a rivalry game. There's just a greater sense of urgency when we see these teams match up. Yeah, the fans feel it. They know it. There's so much to it. They think about it all year long. We can talk about the next game on the schedule. They're always looking forward to this one. And the third down pass is incomplete. The Rockets will try to pin them back with the punt. The punter going to get his first work of the afternoon. Gets it away, good distance, but more importantly, just the direction he wanted. Offense set on first down. One back in the backfield, and they'll give it to him. Follows a good block there, picks up threes out to the nine. And now on second down for this offense. Guys, that's the end of the quarter, and Toledo has the lead. Guys, let's have a look at the stats as we played one period. They are lined up and ready to go and get things started here in the second. To the air, it's Bazelak. Shoots it to the left. Got his man. He's out of bounds after a big pickup, but there's a flag on the field, and this might be coming back. They decline the penalty for pass interference, and they'll stand on the results of the play. They'll try the run. He maybe gets a yard. They'll mark him at the 29. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's looking to throw. Got it behind the line. It's Stewart. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. This offense really needs to get something going. Punt on the opening drive, and now a third and ten coming up. Looking for a huge play. And it slips through his fingers. Incomplete. That would have been a huge game if he could have held on. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Running it back, it's Newton. They'll put that return to a stop at the 33, but the offense set up in pretty good field position. Decent field position to start this drive from their own 33. The give to the tailback. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. 
after getting knocked back to open this drive at second and 12. He's looking to throw. Catch in the middle, it's Torres. And he was just a couple of steps away from taking that one even further after the catch. Now they'll line it up from the 44 on first and 10. He finds his man. Well, we knew coming into this game, this offense was going to try and get this receiver involved and get him involved early. So here they are just finding an easy completion. It's not a touchdown, but they just want to get this guy lathered up and get him into it. And oh, he was off to the races after the catch, and they finally drag him down. Off the play fake on first down, the throw. Grab behind the line, it's Stevens. And he is run out of bounds as they go backwards there and just avoided the contact. The gift to the back. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Now facing a third and long. Looking for a man, it's Gleason. Oh, they really could have used that catch. Their physical pass defense, it brings up a fourth down. And the Rockets line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And that is textbook instructional video. Out of bounds right around the goal line. They'll go to the ground. Really nice run there. Good, solid pickup, and they'll move the sticks with a first down. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. Tried to move that pile forward. He maybe gets two. He's down at the 21. After picking up a couple at second and eight. He's looking to throw. Finds his tight end. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. Picked up some yards on the last completion, but it's third down. Defense a little too jumpy there, and they got into the neutral zone too soon. Encroach, encroach, defense. defense. The encroachment penalty on the D gives the offense a free five yards. They'll try to get the first through the air. Grabbed in the middle, it's Tillman. And he'll have enough for the first down at the 42. And the Falcons have this offense rolling. Comes out throwing on first down. Quickly complete. And that defense pushing him out of bounds after a short game. After that last completion, it's second down. They go to the ground. And the defense makes the stop after a minimal game. Third and short coming here right from the midfield strike. They'll stick to the ground looking for the marker. They thought they could just run it on third and short, but this defense was there to make the stop. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we have ourselves a ball game, and they have a chance to take the lead here before the half. No opportunity to run it back as the ball goes out of bounds. Guys, let's see what Toledo can get done on offense this time. Trying to find his man on first down. Can't hold on. He had it right down the middle, and he flat dropped it. Second down coming up. Looking to pass. It's Gleason. Looking to the big tight end. Fires into traffic. It's picked off. Just a short return, but that would have been icing on the cake. They've got it first down at the 42. Most defenses are lucky if you have one good cover and corner. Fewer are lucky if you have two. They've got three DBs, three corners that can play at the same time in their nickel package that they feel can go mano a mano with anyone in the country. And you saw it on that last play coming away with the pick. And the offense out on the field to go back to work. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. Just couldn't find an open man. He'll get rid of it, and it'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. On second down, he's looking downfield. Complete to the right. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. He's looking to throw it. 
Fires to the middle. Oh, he drops the football. He had it right down the gut of the field. Instead, it'll be second down. After the incompletion, back to the passing game. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to fight another play. Ball's at the 24. A lot of confidence in their kicker from here, but they'd love to take it off of his foot and convert the first down. Gets it out quickly. Referee signals timeout as the defense wanting to make sure that they have everything just right with a big play coming. So now on comes the field goal unit. No good. And they couldn't cut into the lead. It's still a seven-point game. Toledo has the ball. Here comes the offense. Boy, they hope this next drive is more productive after throwing a pick last time, Jesse. Yeah, and the coach... He's going to let one fly down the middle. And that one falls incomplete. They tried to go over the top on first down. Second down coming up. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Looking to throw, it's Gleason. Working the middle, it's complete. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. Wants to throw on first down. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. After the misfire, now on second down. He's looking to throw. Intercepted. Taking it the other way. Bringing the heat. And he has taken it all the way back. Touchdown, Bowling Green. This time, it's the defense finding ways to put points on the board. There is nothing better than being a defender. Seeing that ball in the end zone, your eyes get big as saucers. Go jump on that puppy, secure it, get you a touchdown. Ready to try the point after. Right down the middle. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Week in and week out, guys. You never know what's going to happen in college football. Check this out. Vanderbilt has the lead right now, but if this team has taught us anything over the years, it's that no lead is safe there in Nashville. They're up by a field goal over Texas. We'll circle back if anything changes in this exciting college football matchup. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. The offense uses a timeout to stop the clock, and they'll get a quick breather. To the air on first down. Unloads to the wideout. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down. Second down coming. Now on second down. To the air. It's Gleason. Throws to the wideout. And he is finding wide open defenders all over the field. His third interception of the day. Just a short return, but that would have been icing on the cake. They've got it first down at the 42. Bowling Green has it back. The Falcon offense will go to work. You want to talk about taking the wind out of your sails. Drive the ball down the field and miss the field goal game. You know what? Don't leave it up to kickers. Execute better offensively. I think you move the ball nice. you got to keep that in mind. But Palmer, I think you got to stay aggressive and don't settle for field goals. Yeah, because you got to know there's just no margin for error right now. You just have got to be able to execute at a higher level. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play. Now it's first and 10 from the 46-yard line. Looking to move it through the air. Fires to the wideout. He's got it. The offense burns his third and final timeout of the half. The Falcons will snap it on first and 10. From the red zone, he's going to throw it. 
And he can't quite make the connection as he was trying to pay off this red zone opportunity. The incomplete pass leaves him with second down. He's looking to throw. He just threw that one away. Nobody was getting open. He had to live to fight another play in the red zone. It'll be third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Couldn't find anywhere to throw the football. Just got rid of it. And that's the number one thing. Avoid disaster here. Their hope for a touchdown gone by the boards, but they'll try to put up three before going to the locker room. And that is no good. And here in the second quarter, we remain all knotted up. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. Handoff to the single back. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Fellas, what an environment there today. All the animosity and flat-out hatred that comes with a good old-fashioned rivalry game on display in that first half. And a really competitive game so far. I'm talking razor-thin margins in the big statistical categories. And while it may be a broken record, turnovers are the name of the game. The team that limits them, the ones that win that turnover margin, generally speaking, are the ones that have the best chance to get that dub. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how this rivalry matchup plays out. The Rockets will line up to kick off and start the second half. And he'll just take a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. Bowling Green has it back, and they'll send the offense onto the field. First drive of the second half, always fun to watch. You see what type of tweaks were made at the half, especially when you're locked up in a ball game like this one. Yeah, and it's been a good game. I mean, it's been a little bit of back and forth and, and a feeling out process. And now once you get in the second half, who's going to get aggressive, Paul? Who's going to take some shots, try to make some plays and really go for it? Yeah, it, it's interesting. I think as play callers right now, you learn a lot about these coaching staffs with respect to who does make the best adjustments. There's a lot of coaches that believe we're just going to be who we are. We're going to keep doing what we do. We're just going to do it better. But then there are others that tweak things a little bit on offense and on defense. We're going to find out here. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. He'll call for the fair catch here. They'll start this drive at the 33-yard line. From the gun, he leaves it with the back. They stop him cold, maybe gets a yard to the 34. Didn't get much on first down, it's second and nine. They're trying to find some room off right tackle. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Dropping back, it's Gleason. Can't hang on to the ball. He had it right in his chest, and it'll be fourth down. And the Rockets decide to punt it away. Running it back, it's Johnson. He gets a block. A huge return there. Steps out of bounds, but man, did he put his team in great position. Bowling Green has it back. The Falcon offense will go to work. He'll try to pop the draw. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. The sledding has been tough. Scores have been at a premium, Jesse, and every possession seems like it could switch the momentum of the game. Yeah, Reese, for this offense, just feels like they just haven't been as physical. And for this offensive coordinator, David, he's having to go deep into the playbook just to try to generate a first down. Well, and the good thing is there's not a ton of game pressure because the other side's not scoring either. But if you can find that one thing, that get that one positive play, and then maybe you get those juices going and something can start to build. They were all over him. Nowhere to go as that third down play turned into a disaster. 
It's good. And with that field goal, they now have the lead. That makes the score. Bowling Green, 10. Toledo, 7. After putting three on the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. On the run from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The Rockets offense is back on the field. And in a low-scoring game like this one, David, every possession is magnified. And I think more than anything, it just gets frustrating. And you got to put that behind you. You got to see what this defense has been doing to be so successful. Oh, or now use it against them. Yeah, David, I think for a play caller, this is tough, right? It's like you have to have the perfect play on just to get a first down. In these types of games, I think you're just trying to get guys out in space. See if a dude can break a tackle. Maybe that generates an explosive play, and it breaks this trend. And the defense snows him under after a very short game. To the air, it's Gleason. Receiver looks it in, it's complete. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Throws to the tight end. And he just flat dropped it. I think he wanted to run before he secured it. The Rockets will call on their punt team. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. Makes a move. He'll be brought down, but there is a flag on the field. Let's see what that one's about. Personal, Personal foul. foul. Roughing the Roughing kicker. The kicker. Defense. 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 The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Here's the handoff. They get him stopped at the 32. That's a gain of four. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. He's looking to throw. Got it in the middle. It's Newton. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. And the Rockets come to the line with a new set of downs. They'll go back to the ground. It's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. Wants to throw on second down. And while the pass is incomplete, the flag is down. I think that was a free play for this offense. Defense was in the neutral zone. Good job by the QB there, using his cadence, using his clapping, trying to get this defense offside. The pull and throw off the RPO. Crosses the 30, he's got a lane. Touchdown, Toledo! They take the lead with the six. Quarterback's ability to read the field is huge, and also the anticipation, the time. To be able to throw the football, Jesse, and hit a guy in stride so he can get run after the catch and get in the end zone, that was a nice job by the quarterback. Yeah, it's critical, David. Listen, a lot of times, touchdown passes aren't thrown into the end zone. You've got to read the coverage, hit the open guy, and let him do the rest. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. James Madison is ahead in this one. This team plays a fun brand of football there at Harrisonburg, but they're a long way from closing this out. They're up by a field goal over Southern Miss. We'll circle back if anything big happens, you should know about it. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. Motion from the offense. Going up top on first down. Pocket starts to collapse. And he can't escape, and down he goes. 
If I'm the offensive coordinator, I'm thinking about chipping this defensive end with running backs. I'm leaving my tight ends in to help this tackle because we cannot block him. He's already got two sacks. They'll try to put it in drive this time on second down from the 22. Grabbed in the backfield, it's Garcia. Push down for the tackle. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Wow, this offense is just stuck in the mud. They've already punted four times, and it's third down now. He's got it. Good pick up there as he gets the first down, and they'll mark him at the 48. And the Falcons are marching down the field. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. Got a little work done on first down. Now back to the line. Looking downfield, it's Basilak. They're setting up the screen. Not a whole lot of room there on that screen pass. It just never developed. Passing game very effective on second down. What about here on third? From the gun, wants to pass. And a missed opportunity on third down as the defense knocks it free and fourth down is coming up. Another punt on the way. Got to make sure those hammies and glutes all activated. Don't want any muscle pulls from overuse. Guys, let's see what Toledo can get done on offense this time. That last drive, an absolute aerial assault for the touchdown, Jesse. It was a nice job in play calling, too, David, just giving the quarterback some easy looks and reads so he could go out and hit And he knew exactly where to go with the football. Everything looked really, really easy. He was hot. The ball was coming out of his hands. The defense better do something different. They make the stop, and this running game moves the chains as they get the first down. Talk about spreading the ball around. Everyone getting a chance to show off the hands based on the number of targets we've seen. When you're dealing with a deficit like this, it's all about somebody stepping up to make a play, and you might as well start here in the fourth quarter. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Looking to go up top on first down. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. They'll leave it with him. And he's almost to that first down marker there, saying he's a little bit short. They might want to bring out the sticks and measure, but it looks as if he'll be just short of the first down. He's going to look for a man on third and short. Fires to the big fella. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chain. Quarterback on the keeper. And he's able to find a little bit of running room before they get him down. This offense has done a good job on this drive, taking time off the clock as they come up on second down. Got it in the middle. It's Newton. Across the 25 to the 24-yard line before he stopped. Pick up a five and a first down. He'll pull it on the read. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good game. The Rockets will snap it on first and ten. Looking for a man. It's Gleason. I don't think that's the way they drew it up. Incomplete. Operating in the red zone here on second down. After the incompletion, they go back up top. He caught it. And he'll run out of bounds just short of the goal line. Wanted to get it in, but couldn't quite get home. He's got it. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Rockets. They extend this lead, and it looks as if they are going to make it two wins in a row. The offense strikes again to extend its lead here in the second half. 
and they got everything working. How great is this? You extend your lead, now you get your defense back on the field. Great job taking advantage of the situation and building on that lead. On to attempt the try. And the extra point is up and good, and they have an 11-point fourth quarter lead. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Bowling Green has it back, and they'll send the offense onto the field. Wide out in motion. He'll start this drive firing. Grabbed over the middle. It's Garcia. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. Got the completion on the last play. Still some work to do on second down. Trying to get to it. And the pressure gets there. And down he goes at the 18. And the defense loves being in this type of situation, right? You've got a big lead. It's in the fourth quarter. You know the opponent's going to be throwing the football, so you get your best pass rushers coming off the edge, using that speed, dipping and ripping, getting to the quarterback for another big play. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, backed up inside their 20. He's looking downfield to throw. And it's picked off. Going the other way, and he's got room. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. Nice job by this defense. That might be the exclamation point. Fourth quarter, I got a lead. You bring on the nickel defense. You know they're passing the football for plays just like that to make the INT and almost put this one away. talk about a drive where you impose your will that's what they did running it down for a touchdown david there is nothing more demoralizing than that for a defense to be physically pounded the run is coming you know it's coming and you can't stop nothing the defense can do that is mano e mano up front and your guys getting a push they know you're running it and they still can't stop it and the last thing they need is to squander this great field position facing a third and long. Looking downfield, it's Gleason. Fires to the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Toledo. They've extended the lead and taken control here in week nine. They've extended this lead, guys, but sometimes in a rivalry game, you get down and you fight back that much harder. Man, you've seen crazy comebacks and crazy swings of momentum in rivalry games. You just need that first thing to break your way, Paul. I think it really comes down to their key playmakers, David. They can come back, but these guys need to take ownership. Now's the time. In this type of game, they have got to step up and start making plays. And now with the extra point, they're up by 18 here in the fourth. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the move from inside is five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Bowling Green has it back. The Falcon offense will go to work. Gets it out fast. Here's the deal. You're down three possessions. You know, it doesn't feel likely they're going to come back and win, but we've seen crazier stuff happen in college football. It all starts with a big completion on a two-minute drive. They'll get the momentum started in your direction. Drag down at the 30 after a five-yard gain. They'll snap this one from the 30 on first and 10. He's going to pass. Makes the grab. It's Tillman. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. They'll line up for a second down play. He wants to throw it again. And the pass is incomplete thanks to a big hit. Couldn't pick it up on second down. Now they need a couple on third down. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Caught near the sticks. It's Tillman. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. He wants to throw. 
Just a short pass to the tight end. And that was some kind of collision between a couple of big bodies there, and he stopped from getting the first down. Nice quick throw there. It's so important for quarterbacks to be able to find a rhythm and to be comfortable and confident. You want to just get the ball out quickly, make it an accurate and easy throw, and you can tell that these two guys, they rep that play in practice all the time, and it's now showing up here in the game. Unloads to the wideout. Makes a connection. And this defense is a half a beat behind. They just can't quite keep up. They've got it down to the 21. Scanning the field. It's Bazelak looking for the score. And swatted down by the defense to stop the scoring opportunity. Now on second down after the incompletion. He's looking to throw. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. The Falcons in the hurry up. On third and long, a check down would be the last resort. And the pressure is coming in, and they get him again. Down by multiple possessions. They can't come up empty on this drive in the fourth quarter. They'll go for it on fourth down. Going for it all. Downfield and in. Complete the defense holds. Offense getting set for first down. They'll try to keep this clock moving on the ground. They can rely on this guy to pick up solid yardage when they need it, and he's out to the 43. We've reached a two-minute warning, and this offense will be quite content just to drain the rest of the time away. Creating some space, getting just enough good blocking, and they've got it up to the 47-yard line. Offense breaks the huddle on third down. They'll try to run for it. That just never had a chance as they controlled the middle of the field and stopped him in the backfield on third down. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines, not his best work. Bowling Green has it back, and they'll send the offense onto the field. Not a lot of hope here, down three possessions late. Now, and I love this part as a pass rusher because I'm just pinning my ears back, getting to the quarterback. I know it's a pass every single time. Palmer, I'm trying to pad my stats. I'm sure you're just trying to stay up with it. Well, we're definitely just trying to stay alive at this point, but you're also trying to build confidence, too, for your next opponent. If you can find some completions late in the game, even though it looks like you're going to lose it, it's all about building on the good things you do this week so that you're out executing at a higher level than this. And that's a mistake you don't expect to see from a senior, and he is lucky to get it back. Back to throw. It's Bazelak. Fires to the tight end. Offense will use a timeout. 19 seconds left in the game. Despite failing earlier on fourth down, they will try again here. And he's all bottled up, and now it's worse. The ball's loose. Oh, the loose ball recovered by the offense, but they don't have enough for the first down. It'll be a turnover on downs. And those are so frustrating. When you're a defense and you swarm to the football, and you stick the quarterback and you make him cough it up just to have the other team recover it again, and you don't get it. Still a good stick, still a good physical play. Keep hitting that quarterback. Their work here is virtually done. No need to take any more chances. They'll line up in victory formation. And they'll take a knee on fourth down, happy with their performance so far, and they'll turn it over in the waning moments. There is nothing greater than a rivalry game unless you lose it. And in that case, there is nothing more miserable. I agree, Reese, and that's why rivalry games are so great, because you take the stats, you take the rankings, and you take the records, and you throw it all out the window. There's always tremendous effort and passion when we see these rivalry games. We certainly saw it today. And David, for this losing team, this one's going to sting for a while. It does, but it's so strange because I always feel the same way. I'm like, there's no chance that they have a chance to upset them. But then you go, it's a rivalry game. The, 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 the vitriol, the hate, it's already there. And so it means so much in sports who's motivated for these games. So you do get up. It does become a good game, even when it's not a good game on paper. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.